Hello everyone, welcome to Sailor School. In this video, we will talk about cargo operations on bulk carrier. By the end of this video, you will understand how to pass a hold inspection successfully and you will get a basic understanding on what is draft survey. And at last, we will discuss about operations carried out on bulk carrier from arrival to departure. The first topic is hold inspection. So why do you think we need hold inspection? Cargo spaces or cargo compartments in which the cargo is loaded should be inspected before just to make sure that it is clean, dry and it is ready in all aspects as required by the cargo in particular. Ok, now you have understood why hold inspection is required. But you must also have knowledge on what all things that are checked during the hold inspection. He will observe that cargo holds are clean and there must be no remains of previous cargo. There must be no rust or loose paint flakes. And there must be no stains of grease, oil or any other substances in any region of cargo hold. Hold inspectors will not check every square foot area inside the hold, but they will observe only a specific areas like frames located on side shell and brackets near the hatch combing. And they will definitely check frames located above the inspection platforms frames near the breathing pocket and cargo hold bilges. Sometimes they will roam around the tank top and check it whether it's rusted or not. Also they will observe angles and frames that protect the temperature pipes and sounding pipes because mostly cargo residues will be left out there. Also make sure that there is no debris inside the water ingress alarm sensor socket which will be usually located at the aft lower upper space of the cargo hold. Now we have come to know what are the critical areas which the hold inspector will usually keep an eye on during the hold inspection. Do you know what will happen after the hold inspection is successfully completed and the hold inspection is passed? After the hold inspection is passed, the hold inspector declares that the cargo holds are fit to carry the cargo. Then initial draft survey will be done by the draft survey inspector and chief officer together. Loading or discharging plan will be discussed with the person in charge for the cargo operation from the terminal end. A document known as bill of lading will be provided by the charter party to the master of the ship. Bill of lading is nothing but a document which consists of details such as quantity of the cargo and owner of the cargo. Bill of lading is a very important document as this document tells us who is the owner of the cargo. Once all formalities are done, before the cargo operation starts in real time, there are some things that must be done. But first, let me tell you what is draft survey. And then later we will be looking at these things that need to be done before the cargo loading really starts. Draft survey. Draft survey is nothing but surveying of all six drafts of a ship. We will do this survey only to calculate the weight of the cargo that is loaded or unloaded from the ship. The weight of the cargo is calculated by the change in displacement which is directly proportional to the change in draft of the ship. So please keep this in mind. Change in draft means change in displacement. Displacement of a ship will only change if any weight is either added or subtracted from the ship means loaded or discharged from the ship. Do you know that there are some factors with help of them only, we can conduct the draft survey. First, all six drafts of the ship sides are required. Trim and list of the ship should be noted. Density of the water on which the ship is floating is required. Quantities of all ballast water and consumables etc. are required. Draft survey can be differentiated into three diff types. Initial, intermediate and final. Initial draft survey is a draft survey done before the cargo operation starts. Intermediate draft survey, it is done when the partial loading is complete or if one grade of cargo is loaded completely. Suppose multiple grades of cargo is loaded at the same time, then after completion of loading each grade of cargo, intermediate draft survey will be carried out. So that dead weight of each cargo shall be calculated separately. Final draft survey. Final draft survey is done after the completion of cargo operation and the dead weight mentioned in the final draft survey report 
will match with the dead weight figure in the bill of lading draft survey is a very vast topic so that's why i will not be discussing much in detail because it will then take another 40 minutes to make a video on it so that you will be able to understand it easily okay now let's get back to the things that need to be done before the cargo operation starts whenever you open a hatch cover please secure them using locking pins that are available because during the cargo operation ship tends to list and heal so what will happen is there are some chances this list can cause hatch covers to roll and then they tend to get damaged please keep a note on weather changes especially when you are loading grain cargo close holes whenever there is slightest chances of rainfall it is responsibility of the duty officer to make sure that cargo operation is being done as per the sequence mentioned in the loading discharging plan mooring should be tendered regularly and gangway should be checked as per the tight changes in the port gangway must always be manned and isps protocol should always be maintained ballasting and deballasting operations followed by stripping operation must be completed on time as per the cargo plan soundings of these tanks must be taken at regular intervals when they are in progress cargo clusters cargo clusters are just portable lights that are put inside a cargo hold so that there will be some illumination for the people to work inside the cargo hold so these clusters must only be used as required by the shore party draft of a ship must be checked at regular intervals in case of cargo discharging once cargo hold is completely discharged please get down to the tank top of the cargo hold check for any damages all around the cargo hold if there are any damages or missing manholes please let the chief officer know about this and master should make a third party damage report accordingly before closing the hatch cover please clear the trackway from the cargo residues after completion of cargo operation all hatch cover should be closed i hope that you have understood what are the basic cargo operations carried out on a bulk carrier there is nothing so much complicated in regard to bulk carriers these are just simple procedures done in a orderly manner thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to sailor school next video will be on cargo hold bilges if you feel that there is any particular topic about which i should make a video on please comment the topic below guys get your vaccinations done and stay safe